Okay, just doing a little bit of a range test. I'm currently in my Tesla Model Y Performance. It's a 2023 model, and I'm in my garage where it's currently minus one degree. I'm at 74% charge, which is a range of approximately 336 kilometers. Uh, so I'm going to drive from here to um, Wetaskiwin, which is approximately 50, 55 kilometers. Uh, and we'll uh, check and see what we're at when we get out there. I've got a little bit of running around to do here in town and I got to hook up a trailer. So I will be towing an aluminum trailer, which is about a thousand pounds out there as well. Um, so it's not a completely clean test, but it should definitely give an indication of what kind of range loss to expect uh, when, when, when putting a load on the vehicle. All right, we'll let you know how it goes. So here I'm at the shop picking up my trailer and I just got it hooked up. Uh, you can see on the temperature gauge there it's about minus 36 Celsius and at minus 40 Celsius equals minus 40 Fahrenheit. So it's pretty close to minus 40 Fahrenheit out there as well. Took a little bit of juice to get here. I'm now at 72% and it says I've got 326 kilometers of range. I'm just going to load a table onto the trailer and then get on the road out to Wetaskiwin. And for those of you that want to see what minus 36 looks like outside, it's not all that much uh, different than uh, just zero. Uh, there's a little bit of snow on the ground and uh, here's the old Tesla and my little aluminum trailer, which is not the most aerodynamic trailer with that big sail at the end of it. Uh, I usually flip that down to get a little better uh, mileage, but uh, for now I gotta haul some things, so I'll have to leave it up. Okay, so I'm all loaded up now, 100% ready to roll, and uh, my starting kilometers was 12,779, so 12,779 kilometers. Uh, you can see on the screen it warms up a little bit. It's now at uh, minus 35. It did drop to minus 37 on my way over here. And I'm at 69% uh, and 314 kilometers range left to roll. And I'll be making the drive now to Wetaskiwin, which is about 47, 50, 55 kilometers. We'll see uh, how it turns out. So here we are on our way. And surprisingly, autopilot or full soft driving actually engaged, uh, which is pretty weird. You see the little red trailer symbol on the left hand side of my screen. Normally, when I'm towing anything, when it recognizes that I have a, a trailer behind, it will not allow me to engage autopilot or full self driving, which kind of sucks because if you're doing a long trip, uh, you're kind of forced to, to do it the uh, old school, back in the boondocks kind of way and drive the car yourself. Um, the, the roads are pretty clear, and so it's, you know it's not having too hard of a time seeing things. Uh, Jerk's got his high beams on, but uh, aside, aside from that, everything seems to be going well. Uh, it does say, you know, I got 40 kilometers to go roughly, and I should arrive there with approximately 50%. Uh, and the temperature has gone down. We're kind of out in the sticks again, so it's about minus 38. Uh, and I do suspect it'll probably be closer to minus 40 by the time we get out there. Uh, check back in in a bit. All right, I do want to point out that we did hit so far ooh, oh, minus 39. So that's pretty damn close to uh, minus 40. The roads have gotten a little shitty. You know, you can't even see the center line anymore. There's snow covering it. It pops in and out. But... Uh, Full self-driving seems to be handling it just fine. Autopilot, haven't had any issues with it uh, for quite a while. I've never had any issues with it on the highways or the freeways. Uh, around the city, it screws up every now and again, but you know, it's still beta and it's still learning, so you gotta kinda cut it some slack. And generally, you can tell when it's gonna screw up, so you either just turn it off or let it do its thing and kick it out and then send a little clip to Tesla. But, uh, yeah, again, we're still on our way, so we'll check back in a little bit. I'm just clicking it on. You know, visibility's gone gone to shit. A couple of seconds ago, it was uh, uh, 
foggy to the point where you can barely see 20 feet in front of you. Uh, again, you can't even see the center line. It's non-existent. It's covered in snow and ice. Uh, you can see the sideline, but uh, I want to point out, you know, still doing completely fine. Oh, well, I saw I saw a second there where you could see the center line, but you know, autopilot's handling it like a champ. It doesn't even seem to care about the fog. It gives me a little notification that the uh, full self driving is a little bit degraded. You can see there. Um, but like I said, it's not kicking me out, and it seems to be doing just fine, maintaining speed and uh, keeping me on the road. Still minus 39. Like I said, you know, an oncoming truck, kind of get an idea of how foggy it is and, and uh, frosty out there. All right, I just want to comment. Uh, sorry, guys, I keep cutting it in on the whole trip here. Um, but it finally did hit minus 40, so it is officially minus 40 Celsius and minus 40 Fahrenheit. And, uh, I mean, obviously, my range is changing as I go. It's saying now that I should arrive there with about 46%, and I'll update you when I get there and make sure I have enough juice to make it all the way home. So we did make it, not a problem, and uh, it's currently warmed up. It's at minus 35 uh, degrees. We're at 43% or uh, 196 kilometers uh, left is what it says. And uh, check the efficiency real quick. So you can see that it, uh, I mean, it's obviously coming down quite a bit. But I do also want to remind everybody that this is a... Uh, kind of a stress test because not only are we hitting minus 40 degrees, I'm driving on highways at about 100 to 110 kilometers an hour. Um, and I'm also towing a trailer. So uh, kind of a, a triple whammy on all of it. Probably not the best thing to be doing with uh, with my AV, but um, yeah. Not, not that I'm towing, you know, 11,000 pounds like a Ford F-150 or anything, but you know, it's all relative. I think the uh, Model Y's towing ability or, or rating is something like 3,500 pounds, where the uh, Ford F-150 Lightning, I think, is about 11,000 pounds. Uh, and the Cybertruck, I believe, it's about 11,000 pounds. So, you know, for, for, for me to be towing, you know, half of my capacity, uh, I've got about a 1,000 pound trailer, and then I've got a couple hundred pounds worth of weight on it. Um, so I'm towing about half, half capacity, and most people, you know, with a Ford, uh, F-150 Lightning or a Dodge Ram 1500 or anything like that, you know, when you're rated at 11,000 pounds, the, I guess, apples to apples, it would be like them towing something like 5,000 pounds. Um, it, it, whether you're in gas or diesel, uh, it doesn't really matter. You're going to experience uh, s extreme range loss uh, when towing. So, uh, again, not only are we towing, but we're also sitting around minus 35 uh, to minus 40 in the weather as well. So uh, range loss is definitely expected. Um, but like I said, I, I made it all the way here. I'm just uh, getting ready to unload and then I'll uh, be heading on the way back. Uh, as for kilometers, um, as of right now, uh, we are sitting at about 12,832. Put that on the bottom. I don't really want my VIN number out there, but uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen the kilometers that we're currently at. And uh, we'll get this trailer unloaded and head home and see where we sit then. All right, so it took a little while to get offloaded and get everything settled. Um, so we're now sitting here at uh, about 42% or 191 kilometers of range. Uh, 7 10 p.m. It's minus 35 Celsius here where we are now uh, Saying I should arrive back at my shop at about 15% uh, in 48 kilometers and uh, We've got the trailer still attached to the back That's why I got to stop at the shop and drop it off and then uh, head home we'll See where we're at at that point Okay, so we're back on the road and one thing I want to point out um, if you look above the, uh, the speed, and when I let off the uh, throttle or coming to a stop, the regen does not go green. So 
the battery and the vehicle, I mean, obviously cooled off a whole bunch while I was uh, unloading and doing my running around. Um, but one thing, you know, so I'm not going to get the regen as I let off. Uh, and the other thing I want to point out is that there is a setting under pedals, uh, pedals and steering that is to apply the brakes when regener regenerative braking is limited. Um, so I, I put that on because I've gotten very used to driving with just one pedal. I don't use my brakes very often. I use regen to slow the vehicle down and come to a stop. So, you know, you get into winter situations like this and what'll happen is you're coming up on an intersection and you're expecting the car to slow you down a whole bunch because of the uh, regen that you've gotten used to over the summer and fall. Uh, and then it doesn't slow you down and you just roll into the middle of an intersection and it could be snow or ice covered and just puts you in a bad situation. So if you want to keep your driving consistent in both uh, the snow and ice uh, as well as what you're driving in the summer, then I do recommend turning that switch on and, uh, and, and staying safe. So we're still on the way home and it hit minus 40 again. So once again, it's minus 40 Fahrenheit, minus 40 Celsius. Uh, they meet at the minus 40 mark. I'm cruising down the highway at about 105 kilometers an hour and uh, autopilot's working just fine. There's a little bit of lane drift back and forth as it looks for you know, the center or where it's supposed to be when the lines tend to go away. Um, the trip thing says I should be back at my shop with about 15% of my juice. Um, my regenerative braking has come back, so if I turn off uh, autopilot, it does come back on, which is good. That means the batteries are now heated up to uh, a point where the regen will work again. Uh, car is yelling at me to pay attention to the road. And uh, one interesting thing that I have noticed though is that my stereo doesn't have the same bass that it normally has. So maybe it's from the location of the speakers and they're frozen or uh, something along those lines. But I mean, if it continues, then of course I'll have to get a hold of Tesla and find out what the heck is going on. But uh, stereo still works, everything's fine. That's good. So I'll uh, follow up again when I get back to my shop and probably again when I get to the house. So here we come up on a guy and of course the weather is a little crappy and you know he feels he's got to do 89 kilometers an hour. So I'm going to disengage autopilot and then once we get over this little hump here uh, I'm going to pass. And again I'm towing a trailer and it's uh, minus 39, so minus 40 out, um, but you know what, my torque is still there, my power is all still there, let's get out there and pass. So here we're back at my shop. I just dropped off the trailer. Um, you can hear the heat pump firing up. It sounds kind of like a jet engine. Kind of cool. And uh, as I mentioned, it's warmed up a little bit. We're getting closer to town. So minus 39. Battery says 14% left or approximately uh, 65 kilometers worth of range. By the time I get home, it should be down to uh, about 12 percent. I'm only about five kilometers away. And then, uh, to be fair, after I just passed that one guy on the highway, I wound up passing about four more gas cars that were, you know, stuck doing about 80 kilometers an hour. Probably worried their car was going to freeze up or something. But um, yeah, I had no pos problem passing any of them with trailer and everything. This thing's a this thing's a monster. It's a beast, and it tows uh, exceptionally well. Um, as you can see, I no longer have the little trailer icon, and uh, no, I do not have TPMS sensors in my winter tires, so uh, I have that uh, annoying notification on my screen all the time. So, we'll head home. So, made it home, not a problem. Uh, we have 11% left. It's minus 40 here. 
that equates over. It says we got 51 kilometers left. Um, total drive was 106 kilometers, so we went from 74% down to 11%, going 106 kilometers. Uh, average speed was 100 to 105. Um, obviously there were some spots where I did 110 and then up to you know 140, 150 while I was passing people, towing a trailer in minus 40. So cars at quite a disadvantage, but um, you know it is what it is and now I'm going to pull into my garage and I'm going to charge and uh, I'll charge it up. I, I got a bunch of driving to do tomorrow so I'll put it around probably 90% tonight and um, it'll be uh, nice and toasty warm and, and it'll probably cost me about two dollars two dollars to, to fill from 11 percent to you know 90 percent and then I'll do all my driving tomorrow and I'll plug it in and it'll be happy again tomorrow night all right have a good night guys so I'm home and my car is parked in the garage so I just want to do a little bit of math here uh, we went from 74 uh, percent down to 11% and we did 106 kilometers so we used up approximately 63% of the battery and my typical range uh, maximum best case scenario is summertime not towing um, EPA I believe is 450 kilometers I never get 450 kilometers I'm not that guy that drives you know 70 kilometers an hour in a in a hundred zone uh, as you've seen um, so, you know, uh, see, we lost about 50% range, and uh, I, I think that's pretty reasonable. I have towed in the summertime, and you don't lose that much. You lose maybe 25%, and now here uh, in the wintertime, minus 40, uh, I would expect that without towing, I'd probably lose another 25%. So doing both activities, towing and having it so cold, uh, you know, minus 50% roughly is uh, uh, pretty pretty reasonable, I think. And uh, if it's not, then, you know, you've got too far to go and it's just probably not the car for you. But uh, for me, it works. And I'm able to uh, do all my running around on a daily basis. You can see over there on the wall, the car is charging. Nice and toasty in the garage. Get ready for tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, which I completely forgot about, um, but if you do the math on it, it looks as though uh, if I had charged to 100%, then in theory I should have been able to go approximately 170 kilometers in the situation uh, under the circumstances that I had put the car in. So, uh, once again, it was uh, minus 40 out and I was towing a trailer. Uh, if I had a full charge and I was going to run it down to about zero, I would have gotten about 170 kilometers. Uh, in our, even, even in the province of Alberta here, where we don't have a ton of chargers, I could still very easily make it to Red Deer, charge at the supercharger, uh, make it down to Calgary, charge at the supercharger. I could probably make it all the way from here to the coast in minus 40 uh, while towing a trailer pretty easily with plenty of juice to spare so any of you people that are out there that are you know worried about what kind of range you're going to get in just minus 40 uh, you know unless you're making an exceptional trip and you're going up in the backwoods where there's no chargers hey, you might want to rethink your choices but uh, for you know day to day and uh, most most long or average or typical trips should be completely fine